Do you like creepy village horror movies with possessions and gory kills? Well, I think I might have the film for you. When it comes to horror movies set in villages, Asia has you covered. From stuff like Impedigore from Indonesia, to Soul from Malaysia, and Takashi Shimizu's trilogy of terror village titles from Japan, there's always a creepy flick waiting for you to watch. The best thing about these village horror movies is they delve into some ancient folklores of the countries they're based in to craft a truly terrifying experience. But Death Whisperer is a bit different. Rather than being based on a known folklore tale, this instead is based on a horror novel from 2015 whose author claims is a true story and of which the director of the film has said he's used the original Evil Dead as his inspiration. A deadly curse is plaguing a remote village. Three sisters encounter a mysterious figure on their way to school and soon enough one of the girls falls ill leading to erratic changes in her behaviour. When their older brother returns to their family farm after a stint in the army, he notices a series of supernatural events occurring and takes it upon himself to defend his family and defeat the curse. While the movie has some very creepy moments, it's worth mentioning that it's a bit of a slow burn at the beginning. There's a lot of time spent developing the relationships of the family members and getting to know their personalities. A mention here must be made to the actors, who have done an excellent job in making this family feel like a real family stuck in the middle of a truly horrible event. That means when the creepy scenes occur, they have some real impact. At times, the movie can get lazy and use some jump scares, while at other times, it builds up its moments, such as when the crazy woman breaks into their farmhouse and rips out the daughter's tooth. In the intro, I mentioned it was a bit gory, but you need to be patient in order to get to those scenes. The final third of the film ramps up the action and becomes the type of horror you expect from the director who took The Evil Dead as his inspiration. The similarity in style of the possessions of one of the daughters is only matched by when the big brother does his best Ash Campbell impersonation with a double barrel shotgun. The only thing missing was the Thai version of Groovy. Groovy. In fact, I really enjoyed that creepy sequence where the brother has to drive his sister to the hospital while the spirit who's possessed her creates an alternate reality he has to fight through in order to save her. That scene looked terrific. Now, I don't know how you feel about sequels, but I really detest when a movie ends with a cliffhanger that hints at a follow-up. This movie does that, and I didn't mind it because I want to know more about the family and what's going to happen to them. And there's not too long to wait for that sequel either. Now, using my patent pending ghost rating, which stands for great horror or stupid trash, this movie gets four ghosts, a well-crafted and entertaining horror thriller that might be a little slow for some, but enough nods to the evil dead to bring a smile to fans of that series. But as always, what did you think of it? I'm the Artie Dance. You are watching Shockmania. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you next time.